Hey, it's great to be with you again today. Uh, tonight we had a fundraiser at one of the restaurants in our area uh, for our church, and we put it out to our community as well. And if you brought a flyer in, uh, they took it and put it towards our account, and people could just say that they were from our church, and uh, they would put it on the account. And there were all kinds of people there, right? People from the church, family and friends, and it was like this huge party at the restaurant, and the restaurant was packed with all kinds of other people too, right? So the place is bustling, and there's lots of music, and people are laughing and joking around, and they're enjoying each other's company. And I'm sitting there uh, talking to all the people from our church and just having time to interact with them, right, and find out about how their families are doing and how was their meal. Hey, how about those fills, man? They won again today. And uh, we're talking about all this stuff, and I'm just sitting there going, this is awesome, man. This is great to spend time with people and just hear their stories and be involved in their lives. And I started to think about Jesus. And I have to think Jesus did that, right? When you read through scriptures, Jesus surrounds himself with 12 guys, right? 12 probably teenagers, early 20s, except for Peter. He's a little older probably, right? And uh and he's hanging out with these guys. Now, if you ever hung out with a bunch of teenage, early 20-something guys, you know there's some weirdness going on, right? And and Jesus, not only is he teaching them and, and talking to them about God, but he's living life with these guys. He's with them every day. And, you know, James and John, the sons of thunder, they're talking nonsense and, and punching each other sometimes. And Peter and Andrew are brothers too, right? And they're involved in their family things. And they're talking uh, to the other guys, James and John, they're, they're uh, business partners. And th there's a lot of interaction between 12 guys and Jesus. And then you throw in, oh, yeah, uh, uh, let's go to Zacchaeus's house or Thomas' house, or, or uh, Matthew's house, and get involved. And uh, Zacchaeus and Matthew are tax collectors, and they've got their buddies there who aren't exactly God-fearing, law-abiding citizens. They're actually working for Rome and ripping people off, and they're probably a little rough around the edges. And then Jesus is going to Pharisees' houses, the religious elite, and he's eating there, and he's interacting with them, and he's got family friends, right, that he goes to his mom's place, and his brothers and his sisters, and then he goes to Mary and Martha and Lazarus's joint and hangs out with them, right? And there's all this interaction, and there's eating food and enjoying each other's company, and that's what the church is, right? The church is the body of Christ being together, being all together, and living life together. And that's what is exciting about church, isn't it? When we can do church like that, when we get involved with each other's lives, and, and not only do we chase after God and want to be in his presence and learn more about Jesus and the Holy Spirit and all that stuff, but being in a communion, being a congregation all together and loving each other, that, that is the church. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen? Amen.